London Bangla is delighted to introduce ex-deputy leader of Thai Hamlets, Councillor Sirajul Islam. Councillor Sirajul Islam is currently the lead councillor for regeneration and employment. Welcome. Welcome. Very nice to meet you. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding the um, selection of a Labour candidate to become an overall candidate for mayor. Um, do you think this has weakened the position of a Labour mayor and has this played into the hands of rival parties? Uh, thank you. Yes, um, interesting question. I mean, one, the first first thing is that we haven't yet selected a candidate. We've got, we have a shortlist, um, although the shortlist is a bit of a long shortlist. The seven people on that shortlist are one of those um, candidates. Um, there has been ups and downs with the selection process, as you know. Um, you know, I can't comment too much on that, obviously, because it's a party process. Um, I was one of the three shortlisted candidates initially, and then that particular shortlist was... Um, um, how shall I say, um, um, suspended and the new um, interviews were held and new candidates added to the shortlist. Unfortunately, at that time, I didn't make the shortlist I, um, after that second interview, but subsequently I appealed um, and I'm back on the shortlist again. Um, in terms of playing it to other political parties, um, <clears throat> well, I think, you know, party politics, parties, obviously, you know, they're trying to capitalise on whatever um, that, is, that is happening politically in, in, in Tahamlets. Um, it depends really, um, you know, we're still yet to select a candidate. Um, once we select that candidate, you know, we'll be all united behind that candidate. You know, we have a big Labour force, if you like, in Tahamlets. Hamlets. You know, we've done, you know, been very successful in the local election, 41 councillors, we returned to MPs. So in terms of that, I think, you know, the electorates know who they want to support, you know, which party they think will represent our Hamlets. And I think it's up to us, the party faithful, you know, the party members, the supporters, to make sure that whoever that candidate is, becomes elected mayor in October and you know we have a Labour mayor to continue the Labour progress that we made in our Hamlets. You know, our Hamlets with 41 Labour councillors this term, you know, we are slightly less last year, but still we progress massively, you know, we're a three-star local authority, you know, our social service department is fantastically well, you know, we have the best education system, blah, blah. And I think we want that elected mayor, whoever that becomes, whether it's me or somebody else, to kind of carry on um, that good work we're doing and kind of build on the foundation, the solid foundation that we've laid to make sure that people of Tahamlis get the very best service. Um, we are in power with other local authorities in London and become the very best. So I think, you know, time will tell really. I'm pretty confident that whoever the candidate is, you know, we will make sure that, you know, we have a Labour Mayor in October. What singles out Sirajul Islam as the best candidate for the Labour Party? <laughs> well, um, I mean, I've, you know, I've grown up in Tower Hamlets, you know, I, I went to primary school in Tower Hamlets, although I kind of, you know, um, went to Liverpool State there for a while and finished my secondary education. You know, I, Tower Hamlets is my home. This is my home. I'm very passionate about Tower Hamlets. You know, I understand the problems of Tower Hamlets. I have the experience in being a leader for three years. I've held a number of other cabinet portfolios, notable social services, where I inherited a budget difficulty and a service which was kind of in a functional one-star level. You know, I was able to overturn that to become three stars in three years. So I have that passion, the drive, the enthusiasm and the commitment as well to make sure that as mayor, you know, I represent local people. You know, I want to be the people's mayor. I want to be somebody that people can relate to, somebody who can work with all communities, you know, in Hamlets. We're proud of our diversity, the multiculturalism in Hamlets. You know, Tahamlets is a colourful place and it needs a mayor who can speak to all communities, somebody who can bring in all communities and, you know, and I think, you know, genuinely sort of, you know, look at issues across the borough and try and sort of, you know, remedy some of those, you know, be available to kind of listen to people, etc. And I think, you know, I'm one of those people, I'm a listening type of people, you know, I can work with all communities, maybe young people, old people middle class people, you know, people from all communities. This is why I think I stand out from the rest of the candidate, you know, that passion, that commitment, and to make sure that, you know, I'm mayor for all, I'm mayor for people's mayor. What are the greatest challenges and issues facing the residents of this great borough? Well, <clears throat> there are a lot of lot of challenges we have in Tahamlis, you know, as I said initially that, you know, we, we are a top performing local authority, so we have managed to kind of tackle a lot of those problems with the leadership that we've had of, over the past. Um, currently, you know, we have housing, it's a big challenge in Tahamlis, you know, we've got Tahamlis Homes, which is now managing ta the homes on behalf of the council. They will go into an inspection and hopefully if they get two stars, we'll be you know, bringing in 200 million pounds to improve housing, to make a decent standard, you know, our waiting list is a big challenge for us, you know, we are doing things to address that. As well, community cohesion is an issue for Tower Hamlets. You know, we have so many multiple communities living in Tower Hamlets. It's about kind of you know working together all communities and making sure our communities kind of understand each other and live harmoniously. Employment.
Payment is an issue for Tahum, there's the economic downturn, etc. You know, people being redundant, so on and so forth. You know, with um, you know, the new government bringing in, you know, various sort of you know cuts to benefits, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to have an impact in Tahum. So I think you know, employment is a huge issue, big challenge, and I'm a lead member for employment, so therefore there's a huge task currently on my hand as well. And I think you know, whoever the mayor is, you know, that is a big issue that people need to take on and make sure that you know we deliver for people at Tahum. There's an Olympic coming up in 2012. There are job opportunities over there. Someone needs to broker those. Um, and various other, other other channels as well that you need to explore and look at. The um, uh, party election members uh, vote will take place during the month of Ramadan. Do you feel <coughs> like some people who have voiced their concerns that uh, this may affect the ability of uh, the candidates to number one secure vital votes and number two to engage appropriately with a significant number of Muslim voters. Mm. Yeah, it is an issue. I mean, you know, unfortunately, the, the ballot polling they had to be delayed several times because of the re, kind of re-interviews, etc., the process. Um, and therefore, it's unfortunately it's gone to 4th of September, I believe, which is, you know, during the, towards the end, end of Ramadan. I think it'll be a challenge, it'll be a big challenge for us. Towards the end of Ramadan, obviously, people are busy preparing for Eid and doing their shopping, etc., etc. People become much more tired towards the end of Ramadan. It's about persuading people to come, come and sort of, you know, cast their important vote on poll polling day. I think it's up to the up to the candidates. I think you know we need to kind of you know, make sure that we persuade people that they do come. It's very important. Their vote is very important. You know they need to come and decide the future of our Um And you know unfortunately it's during the holy month of Ramadan. But I think you know it's not going to take a very long time. The polling station will probably be open between from eight in the morning to eight in the evening. So between any that time, somebody come into five minutes in the past. There were two polling stations. One will be in the and Bow. I think the party offices, and the other one is Poplar Limehouse. I think that's the Dockers Club. So the two polling stations make it easier for people so they don't have to trek all the way from, say, Isle of Dock to Bethnal Green to vote. So in terms of that, it will make it slightly easier for people. But it is an issue. It is an issue that, you know, that I think you know, we all have to sort of make sure that our members do come out and support the candidates they want to support to see that candidate finally become the mayor of mayoral candidate of the and eventually the mayor, I hope. Councillor, what are your top three priorities? Interesting question. I, I think to Hamlets we have lots of priorities, but you know, if I was going to say my top three priorities, probably one would be housing, of course, you know, we have huge overcrowding issues in Ta Hamlets and we want to make our stock decent standards. So housing, I'd say one. Secondly, I'd probably say employment because of what's happening nationally with the economic downturn, etc., which has an impact on a place like Ta Hamlets. And thirdly, I'd probably say commitment to young people of this borough, young people, education, you know, to make sure that schools are performing very well, you know, catering for the needs of our local population, education is fundamentally important, the future progression of our young people. So youth service, education, young commitment towards young people would another. If I had a fourth, I'd probably say community cohesion as well. How will a Labour mayor work with uh, cross-party colleagues or colleagues within the party uh, to uh, serve the people of the borough? Um, well, I think councillors, you know, regardless of which, whichever party, you know, they represent or we represent, I think, you know, we, we stand for one common principle to make Tahamlis the very best for all who live and work here. I think, you know, the politics is where, is where how, how we get to that destination. I think it's important that the mayor does work with all other councillors, you know, regardless of what parties they, they represent, to make sure that people's views are taken into account, so that to ensure that, you know, that we are delivering for all of Tahamlis. You know, you cannot as a mayor work in a silo, you know, you've got to work with the Labour group, you know, very important that you need know, your Labour group um, colleagues, uh, 41 Labour councillors currently, and you have to work with the various opposition, you know, leaders, opposition groups as well. Um, obviously the full council is an opportunity for the political debate to happen, you know, where that motions, etc., and reports get agreed, so there's a forum there for that political debate to take place, but I think, you know, as, as mayor on informal basis, formal basis, you know, there has to be a policy where the mayor, you know, uh, does speak to other other political leaders, other political groups, you know, I'll be fine there. Of course, I'll be delighted, you know, they have to work with my colleagues in the council regardless of what party they represent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Councillor Islam is a true and die-hard Liverpool fan. He may be the maestro that is needed to reinvigorate and reawaken a sleeping giant.